What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, here once again to break down another Fortnite update in under five minutes. But before I get into any of the new additions, our friend Benji Fishy has a few words to say. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? This is Benji. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and hopefully teach you guys a lot about competitive Fortnite. I'm always getting questions about how to improve competitive Fortnite, so I've decided to launch a 14-day boot camp teaching you the things I feel like players struggle with the most. By the end of our time together, you're going to leave a better Fortnite player, not only a more confident, smart and consistent player, but someone who can become a better teammate for the seasons to come. Super excited about the opportunity to connect with all of you and hope you reach your true potential. I'll see you guys soon. With that boot camp announcement out of the way, let's start, as always, with the map changes. The one big change that we can see on the map so far is actually at the Daily Bugle. We knew that the battle between the IO and the Seven would mean territory on the map would be flipping between the two factions over the course of the season. And the Daily Bugle area is now in conflict, with the Seven trying to take down the Blimp, which will actually happen later this update cycle. That is the only big change on the map so far, but Hypex has uncovered a potential upcoming location called the IO Tower. Before we move on to talking about the mechanical changes of this patch, I'd like to ask you our question of the day. Today, I'm going to ask you if you're actually enjoying the new season. This is the first major patch of Chapter 3 Season 2. Are you enjoying everything so far? Let me know down below and I'll answer some of your responses. Okay, on to the mechanical changes in this patch. First of all, there have been some changes to Tactical Sprint that both nerfs and buffs the mechanic. The recharge amount per second has been doubled, meaning that while you're recharging your stamina, it will actually go up much quicker. However, the start delay to that recharge has been nerfed from 1 second right up to 2.5 seconds, which is over double. This means overall, it'll actually take you longer to fully recharge your stamina after sprinting. As expected from the beginning of the season, the Heavy Sniper has now been unvaulted. Jetpacks are now back and can be found hanging up in blimps. Spicy Chug Splashes also return this patch. The new Rocket Launcher has seen a buff, allowing the rocket to actually move faster. Considering this weapon is supposed to be used on vehicles, that buff to move speed is actually a pretty good thing. The Seven's tanks are now in the game. As areas flip from one faction to another, the Seven will be taking over more and more of the IO's tech. Due to challenges, we know that Clombos are likely soon to return to the game, though once again, we don't exactly know when. Now, exciting times may be coming for fans of the Zero Build mode. If you are a fan of this mode and want something a little bit more competitive, then Epic Games are apparently playing with the idea of a Zero Build competitive mode as a zero build for Arena has been added to the files in all team sizes. Whether this actually happens or not is entirely up to Epic, but when you consider the fact that there are already some zero build tournaments coming up, well, it's a pretty good chance that they'll end up doing it. Okay, next up is cosmetics, and for fans of this section of the video, I am genuinely sorry, because there's not actually much we can see in the files right now. Serena is the only skin that's currently visible in the game files. Anything else that's new must be behind some kind of encryption. Speaking of encryption, FNBR Intel managed to get through some of it and uncovered a new icon skin for Chica. Ivor from Assassin's Creed has also been added to the files, but we can't see her just yet. The only back bling is the Dream Lantern, while the only harvesting tools are the Night Forged Blades. There are three new wraps that we can see though, and that's the Fan Art, Imagined Override, and the Lead Light. Of course, this is also the update with all the new super styles, so you can have fun trying to unlock those in your battle pass. So, that's the entire update. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I think this is probably the worst update of Chapter 3 so far, but that's just me. Enjoy the breakdown, make sure to like the video and subscribe to BroGuides for even more of them. And I'll catch you in the next update video.